Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. There are two string methods that I find people confuse all the time, all the time. And I just want to take a few minutes in this video to help you remember which one is which and to understand them well enough that you won't confuse them also. And I'm talking about the two string methods, stir split and stir strip. Now, I think part of this has to do with the fact that they're string methods. They both start with S and end, end with so like a strong sound, T or P or something. I don't know. But I find that people consistently mix these up. So what do they do? Well, split actually takes a string, or I mean it's run on a string, and it returns a list. So stir split always returns a list and a list of strings. So if I say S equals, let's say here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, I can say S dot split on space. And this means return a list of strings based on S using space as a field separator. And sure enough, that's what I'm going to get. Easy enough. Now, it doesn't have to be a space, of course. If I change this a little bit, if I use my string here, and I say colon instead, then I can use colon here. And it's going to do the same thing. And I can, of course, use any other character. I can say s dot split of e. And that'll work. Be a little weird, but it'll work. I can even say s dot split of colon efg. That'll work also. You're not limited to one character. You can use any string you want. The key thing, though, is that split always returns a list of strings and it removes whatever character you've used there as the delimiter. Well, here's the thing though. It's super, super common for us to want to define a string with spaces, or white space, I should say, separating the words, and then to use split to break it up. For example, if I say here s equals this is a very interesting example, I'd say s dot split on space. But what if there are extra spaces in there? What if we say here this space, space, space is a very space, space, space. Well, sure enough, every time it hits a space, split is going to cut and we're going to get all these empty strings in there and no one wants that. So for that reason, I can say s dot split on nothing. No argument is the same as saying none, actually, which really means any white space of any length. Let's fix that there. Now, when I say white space, I don't just mean the space character. I mean space, new line, carriage return, tab, and even vertical tab, which I don't think has been used seriously since the 1950s. In any event, if I now say s dot split, it'll come back exactly as I want. I mean, assuming I want this, because those multiple spaces there will be turned into one space and then used in the cutting. And even if I had tabs or new lines there, it would work the same way. So for this reason, split is really useful when you're getting input from the user, from a file, from a database. You can just split with no argument and you'll get back your individual words. All right, that's split. There's a totally separate method, strip, which because it plays with white space a lot of times, often gets people confused. So if I say here s equals input, enter your name. I'm going to say here, Uther. Actually, let's like add this to the same cell. So I can say print of hello name. So if I say Ruben, it's going to say hello Ruben. Very kind of it. Oh, whoops. Except I said S and I really want to say name. There we go. Now it'll be polite to me. <laughs> That's a good computer. But what if I'm a little sleepy and I fall asleep on the keyboard? And I say enter your name like that, Ruben, space, 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 space. So it's actually going to print all those spaces because of course the string contains all the spaces that the user entered. So the strip method, str.strip, removes the white space from, from the edges. So I can say name.strip, and what am I gonna get back? I'm gonna get back just that one string there without all the white space. Now strip does more than this. Strip will actually remove any set of characters you want from the edges. So if I said here, well, I'm going to name equals, let's do S equals A, B, C, D, E, and I said S dot strip of A, E, it's going to remind, it's going to give me back B, C, D, because the argument to strip here was A and E, meaning if you see either A or E on the edges, remove them, All right? This is not a common use for strip, at least in my book. I almost always use strip with uh, no uh, argument because I want white space. Okay, so far so good. Um, 
But the thing is, people get confused by this because sometimes I could say S equals A, B, C. S dot strip, watch what it's going to do. It's going to remove the white space on the edges. It's not going to touch the white space at all in the middle. So split always returns a list of strings. And if you use split without any argument, it will use white space as the delimiter and get rid of the white space inside and outside. Strip by contrast can be used to get rid of anything, but we typically use it with white space and it only gets rid of the white space on the edges. It does not touch anything in the middle and strip returns a new string based on the old one. So if you are trying to remove weirdo characters from the edges of your user's inputs, as I can do here, it's a good idea to say dot strip because I'm going to get the input from the user. I'm going to strip it and then the result of strip is going to be assigned to name. You don't want to split that because if you split that, you're going to turn it into a bunch of different strings and that's almost certainly not what you want to do, right? If I do this with name, it's going to be great. If I use split there, well, I don't know if bad news, but like weirdo news, right? Ruben Lerner. And that's just kind of strange. I hope this has helped you then to understand the difference between split and strip. All right, good luck with your use of Python. And if you have any questions or comments, just contact me on Twitter or via email. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll be back soon with another video.